Do y'all know what time it is? Do y'all know what time it is? Hey, hey, it's grocery haul time. Okay, welcome or welcome back to my channel, okay? Um, if you're new here, I'm Ella and this is Elegant Dishes, okay? I know it says my name on there, but eventually I'm gonna get around to changing it and putting a nice picture up and all that good stuff. But anyways, right now, we are here to um, the grocery haul. It is currently, uh, it's currently 11.03 p.m. And uh, I just got home at 10.58 maybe, 10.50 something. I don't know, I texted my sister when I got home until I was home. So whatever time that was, that's, that's when I got here. Um, Ooh, I'm tired. I'm sleepy, but guess what? We're gonna do this grocery haul tonight because I'm not taking stuff out of the refrigerator and gonna try to do it tomorrow. So we're gonna do this tonight, okay? Tonight. So I am currently watching something on YouTube. Well, not really YouTube, but I am listening to something. So if y'all hear that in the background, that's what it is. But um, uh, yeah. So this is, this is gonna be all over the place, like the last one. It, uh funny because I haven't even edited that one and put it up yet. So, but it's gonna be all over the place. So this is my grocery haul for the next two weeks. It is currently 10 10 2023. And uh yeah, I'm gonna see if I can upload this like before midnight. I'm gonna see. So yeah. I'm gonna get started with the stuff that I actually bought yesterday that's actually in the freezer, because my son put it in the freezer. Thank you, son. Um, but actually, normally when I go to shop, I leave everything in the in the refrigerator, and then I portion it out in in some Ziploc bags, and then put it in the freezer the next day. But he was nice enough to put everything in the freezer because I was complaining about them uh, not putting the groceries up when we get home. They would leave certain things on the table if they brought the bag in, and I'm like, okay, I'm tired, and y'all are with me. So when I bring the groceries home y'all like put them in the fridge or something so but anyways but he did that that was very nice and sweet again so i really appreciate that so but we're gonna get into this i went to Publix yesterday i think that was the only place i went yesterday but don't no i went to Publix and sprouts yesterday so i got a few things from sprouts but i got meat from Publix. This is lamb shoulder blade chops. Y'all can't really see that. I actually I bought three because it's three of us. So, um, but I got hungry last night and I cooked mine. I cooked the smallest one out of the, the three. It was like two dollars. These are um four sixty four and four seventy nine. I'm not gonna tell y'all how much everything was whatever, but I was just making the point to tell y'all I did eat the smallest one that was like two dollars and ninety two cent. So that's how small the one that I ate was versus these two. So uh oh. Um, and I'm standing here pulling stuff out of my freezer, and oh yeah, there's groceries on my on my table. Um, what is this? Chicken turkey neck, tur chicken turkey neck, chicken. <laughs> oh goodness, I'm sleepy. I'm sleepy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I got some turkey necks, fresh neck bone turkey necks with no antibiotics. Um, I used to shop at Publix all the time when I lived in Augusta. So, but since I don't live there anymore, and Publix is way on the other side of Augusta, I do not go over there um but i actually i didn't even go to the one in augusta i actually got these from um north augusta because i left church um yesterday and got these from Publix because i went to get us a sub um from Publix after church to eat so i just picked up some meats i got some chicken gizzards now i have not had turkey necks nor chicken gizzards in i know two years i know for a fact so but my son he was saying mom those chicken things that the little little nugget things that you used to i'm like Aiden, what are you talking about <laughs> he was talking about these when i um fried them there one time and he just really loved them so i got some of these these two are no artificial flavors and no added hormones and no preservatives and blah 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 
So, yeah. Uh, then I got some fresh, oh, I got two things of turkey. Wait a minute. I got turkey necks. I didn't realize I got turkey wings. In but two in here. Oh, yes, I did get two things of turkey necks. And one thing of, uh, one thing of turkey wings. And I couldn't find my, uh, tripod, so if it looks a little off, it's okay. Dang, he put the bacon and everything in the freezer. What else he put in here? Oh. Okay, so. Okay, so. The last thing I got from Publix was some ground chicken. And <laughs> I thought I was picking up ground turkey. Yeah. I'm still going to use this ground turkey. This ground chicken i don't know what that was but okay um all right so that was it that's all i got from Publix. this is everything i got from no it's not everything i got from Publix. um okay so i got some hunts diced tomatoes because i'm gonna make some more chili this month and tomato soup and i got some rayos marinara homemade sauce in there sauce. Um, both of these were on sale. Normally I would get these from Walmart, but these was on sale. Buy one, get one for a dollar thirty-nine. So y'all do the math. And this was six. When I think it's normally eight dollars for this size. So I think that was a good deal. I didn't check Walmart to make sure, but I'm, I'm going to because I, I like to stretch my funds for food, clothing, household items. It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna find a good deal. I'm gonna find a sale. Cause that's who I am. Okay. All right. So I think that is all. Oh, and I got eight, eight of these and two of the rail sauce. I think that's it. Okay. Whew. Breathe. You know what? Let me take my medicine. So when I'm done, I can go to bed. Okay. I did get some drinks with our subs, but I mean, y'all don't need to see that. I don't know how many times we hold this up and I talk about it. I got this from Sprouts by 99. So these was on sale for buy one, get one 50% off, and they were $10.99 each. So here are the same impossible sausages. My son then took the thing off and just made one already. Uh, and these I got for my daughter just you know, but she I told her about that I had got these yesterday because she wasn't with me So I told her that I got these today And she said oh, I like those so I'm like, Okay I Got them because they was buy one get one 50% off And then when I got to the register these were not in the buy one get 50% off It was these so you had to buy two of these to get one 50% off So because my son wanted these I was just like, okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. I buy groceries for them to eat. You know, I eat. I'm going to eat healthy. I'm going to eat or drink more smoothies and yogurt and stuff like that than really eating food. So, Whew. okay. All right. All right. I got some uh, wild caught Key West pink shrimp. Extra large. Argentinian? Nope, just Key West. Okay. Because I knew they had the Argentinian or Argentina. Whichever one you want to say. They had those on sale. Um, This came from Kroger. You know what? Hold up. Whew. Okay. We're going to go to Sam's right now. So, Sam's, I got some wild caught jumbo gulf shrimp that are peeled in the vein. Okay, cool. Normally they aren't peeled or the vein, so that's, hmm, that's weird. Anyways, 
save me some time. Uh, I got some antibiotic free Atlantic salmon from Norway. Okay, Norway, Canada, or I forgot the other one. That's a good one that doesn't have uh, antibiotics ever. So, forgot. Anyways, um, I got the tailgate. You know what? Whatever. Grilled chicken, marsala sauce, something or another. I got this for the kids to have one day this week. I got some cheese. Uh, this is imported European cracker cut cheese. This tastes good with some crackers. This is good with crackers, but I didn't, actually I didn't buy it for that this time. Um, supposed to make potato and bacon soup cheese potato bacon and then broccoli and cheese soup so i'm just use these cheeses you know four different i did get some other cheeses from kroger but you'll see that in a little bit so yeah and keto waffle breakfast sandwiches i got this for my son because he was you know telling the doctor about how he be hungry a lot in the morning basically he was on some medicine and it was causing him to be hungry and whatnot so anyways i just I got some breakfast stuff again, which is why I got the sausages also. So, I think that's all I got from... Nope. I got my grass-fed beef. And it's normally $14.93. It was $16.53. $2 more than what it usually is. My feelings was hurt. And I got two of them. I got two of these three packs. No one ain't got no freezer that big. But God. Okay. I'm going to just say, but God. Just, just know. All right. All right. So. Whew. Okay. So there are these two meat processing places. I guess you could say meat processing places. In Augusta, Knights, and Lanier's. And I went to, I want to say Lanier's. The receipts in my bag in my purse so i don't know i went to Lanier's, and both of them have to where you can pick five items for um 19.99 so that's what i did i got some homemade cinnamon rolls some breakfast stuff for my son some uh hash browns because i was gonna make my own but i was like i don't feel like it <laughs> nope um got a box of these for my daughter uh Canadian style bacon and egg, uh, English muffin. She loves the ones from McDonald's, so I was like, hey, how about I just get her a pack of these? And I got two things of mussels and tomato and garlic butter sauce. So I'm going to be making uh, something with the mussels. So, yeah. Ooh, my refrigerator. It's gonna be screaming at me. Like, why are you doing this to us? Why? Kroger, Simple Truth, unsweetened almond milk. Simply almond, almond milk. Grass fed beef uncured. Hot dogs, whole chocolate milk, organic, simple truth. I got this to try. Strawberry cream supports gut health. Oh, what, what, what? With probiotics? Okay. I should really read what I be ordering. I, I, I really should. Um, sharp white cheddar and Kobe Jack. More stuff for breakfast. Um, oats and honey. Simple Truth Organic Granola Clusters. Seven grams added sugar. Okay. And Original Granola Grain Free. Both of these are on sale. So I just got some for them to put on top of some yogurt, some berries, just a little maple syrup. Bam, nice, healthy breakfast. Lots of protein, yes. 
So I got these for me to try. Because I just like, ooh, I want to try these. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. These are not good. <laughs> These are not good. Um, I'm trying to think what can I do with these. I'll figure something out. But, mm -mm. don't buy them. I got this energy bar for my son because he always be talking about he want a, like, protein bar or whatever. So, I just got this white chocolate macadamia nut, which I know I shouldn't have got this because I know it's pretty Probably full of sugar. Seven, 16 grams of added sugar. And I did not read the um, things on Kroger.com before I got it. That was my fault. So um, I got some Pacifica. Pacific. Organic vegetable broth. I normally get the, um, the Great Value brand from Walmart. I got some Parmesan garlic shell cheese. I'm going to tell you all some. I think they gave me too many of these because I took, it was only one of each on, on the, on my order. And I know for a fact, and I'm going to go get my phone just so I can make sure. And uh, I got the Aunt Anne's or Annie's homegrown aged cheddar, any aged cheddar, Parmesan or uh, sharp cheddar, stuff like that. They don't have the lactate in it. So that's good. So I got these for my daughter for her lunch. Also got these for my daughter for her lunch. Um, some pretzel sticks. I got one pack of uh, mussels from Kroger. They were on sale for two dollars, which I wish I had got the other ones from there. But this is the white wine and garlic. I like these the most, better than the ones with the tomato. So add a little extra white wine, a little butter. So, never mind. Let me. Anyways, um, got that. I got these for my daughter to try for breakfast. I know they're full of sugar. I did check the sugar on, content on that. But if she only, let's see. Serving size is five pieces. So maybe just have her eat three. <laughs> yeah, wishful thinking. Anyways, um, so I got these jasmine rice packets, which I'm going to open and see how they look because I've, I've never bought these. And they were in the freezer section. And I did not realize they were in the freezer section. So. Oh, okay. Alright. Um, it's three packs. Three packs. And uh, I don't think it was that much. But I've never seen this in microwave three to four minutes, huh? I'm going to try this tomorrow. Whew. Um. Got my daughter some juices to go with her lunch. Cause actually I forgot to get her some some regular juices. Um some regular juice like bottle big thing of juice to put in the refrigerator. So yeah, I forgot about that. I got some unsweetened applesauce, blueberry. So about this. Walmart had this blueberry applesauce. I think it was Mott's blueberry applesauce. When I tell y'all I bought it twice and never seen it again i was so mad because that's that's some good blueberry applesauce i like it no sugar added to so it's just perfect but um yeah i got these seasons which was 139 or 159 one or one or the other but it was basically buy one get one free so they was like 359 something like that a piece so you split that in half and that's how much each one of them was okay so yeah so i got some oregano I think it was out. Some lemon peel, which I've never had. Mint lemon, uh, lemon peel. Some nutmeg, running low. Cinnamon, completely out. I actually do have some uh, cinnamon sticks, which I'm going to use to make my uh, homemade hot chocolate to uh, provide the people at church with. And I got some poppy seeds because I was like, oh, I remember I love lemon poppy seed muffins. Yes, I forgot who used to make them. I want to say it was Panera Bread. 
I'm pretty sure it was them who had a lemon poppy seed muffin and I used to love it. Oh my God, it was my favorite. And now the crayon orange is my favorite. So I got these to make something with and some black pepper because I'm out. All right, last but not least, I think this is all. I got some of these for my son because he had been asking for the frosted mini wheats. And uh, I think this has less sugar. I don't know. It's still too much to me. But, and it's strawberry filled. Because I want to try them too. So, they had vanilla, this, and blueberry. I want to say they had another one, but I was like, let's try these. I got my favorite plain old country corn flakes. This is my favorite cereal. So, got me a box of that. Which I really wish they would take the sugar. It's four grams of added sugar. I really wish they would take that out and just leave it just plain country cornflakes. I used to love the ones in the yellow box, the total country cornflakes. Yes, those were my absolute fave. So, yeah. That's that on that. So, I think that is all from Kroger. Now, I got this from um, Dollar Tree. I had been looking for these for like a couple of weeks, a few weeks, probably a month, probably a month. And every time I went to Dollar Tree, they, they were out. They, they, they had another brand or something in there, but they didn't have this one. I've been buying this one for the longest. Like I would stock up on this one because for one day, $1.25. And then in Walmart, they are six something. I actually took a picture when I went in Walmart because I saw it. I was like, see, this is why I always go to, go to um, Dollar Tree and get these. Love this peak salt. It's non-GMO, 100% naturally pure. So, yes, I stocked up, got four, and probably next month I'm going to go get another four, but these going to always be a staple. Got to have them in my cabinet, in my pantry. Yes. Okay, so here is the uh, picture that I took in Walmart. You see that? $6.53 for the same pink salt. No. That's not what we're doing. Okay, we, we don't do that around these parts. We're going to find the best deals for what we want. Okay? And I even do the same thing with basically my food. Like the... the, the uh, uh, The muscles. Like I said, I'm hurt that I got, you know, 5 for 25, but that's what they have. But, I mean, I should have known to go to the grocery store because Kroger normally has a sale on the muscles anyway, so... I wish I could find some wild caught mussels, but they are nowhere to be found. Anyways, I did find some sh sh shiitake mushrooms because I want to make a mushroom and with a uh, mushroom risotto. Yes. Anyways, um, I mean I could use any mushroom, but I just really want some shiitake mushrooms because I don't think I've ever cooked with them outside of school. So yeah. Um. I don't know if I'm gonna look up this uh, receipt from Kroger to see if, like, uh, they gave me the right stuff. But I'm missing my watermelon. I had a seeded watermelon from Kroger, and I really do need to check my order to see if uh, they were out or something because I didn't receive it. Don't have it, so I want to know where it's at. So I probably am about to check, but. I'll let y'all know if I'm going to just, just give me a minute. Okay, so it's not showing me my receipt. So, we put a call this night. Okay, it is 11.50. And guess what? Thank y'all for watching this grocery haul. The beginning of October grocery haul. Um, Yes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.